It doesn't matter whether you're a photographer who's seen it all or a casual traveler, your jaw will drop when you enter a rainforest. And the biggest and most biodiverse is the Amazon. Keep watching to learn facts about the Amazon rainforest that you haven't heard before. It's named after warriors. The Amazon River has always been beautiful and intimidating. It went unexplored for hundreds of years. That all changed in 1541 thanks to one brave man. A European explorer named Francisco de Oriana was the first to navigate the entire river. That's how he earned the right to name it. But unlike most other explorers, he didn't just name it after himself. Legend says he was attacked by female warriors on his way. They were called Ikamiabas, or women without husbands. They reminded him of the giant female warriors of Greek mythology, the Amazons. He named the river and the rainforest in their honor. It's gigantic. Only 6% of the earth is covered in rainforest, but the Amazon makes up half of that. The next two largest are Congo Basin and Tropical Indonesia. The actual size of the Amazon rainforest is almost unfathomable compared to the others. It takes up a full 2.1 million square miles. It also covers 40% of the continent of South America. It covers nine countries, Brazil, Colombia, Peru, Venezuela, Ecuador, Bolivia, Guiana, Suriname, and French Guiana. 60% of it is in Brazil, 13% is in Peru, and 10% in Colombia. If the Amazon rainforest was its own country, it would be the 14th largest in the world. The UK and Ireland could fit into it 17 times over. The Amazon River is also the largest by volume, though its length is contested. Its starting point is believed to be in the Peruvian Andes, with it stopping 4,225 miles later. That's 65 miles more than its best competitor, the Nile River in Egypt. It has 17 tributaries that drain 55 million gallons of water every second into the Atlantic Ocean. That also makes up 20% of all global riverine discharge into the ocean. It's the lungs of the world. The Amazon rainforest has been dubbed the lungs of the world. It produces up to 20% of the world's oxygen. Its many diverse plants constantly draw in and recycle carbon dioxide. Its decomposing materials release CO2 as well. The only ecosystems that compete are underwater. It's a carbon sink. The Amazon stores up to 120 billion tons of carbon. It also releases 20 billion tons of moisture. In 50 years, one tree can recycle $37,000 worth of water, provide 62,000 worth of air pollution control, prevent 31,000 worth of erosion damage, and produce $32,000 worth of oxygen. Multiply those numbers by the massive number of trees in the Amazon, and it becomes clear how much of an impact it has. It provides medicine and food. The Amazon gives back in other ways as well. It provides medicine and food all around the world. 80% of the world's food comes from the Amazon. You can thank it for coffee, chocolate, rice, tomatoes, potatoes, bananas, black pepper, corn, and more. 120 medications come from the plants there. 70% of those that fight cancer come from the rainforest. 25% of all Western pharmaceuticals come from rainforest ingredients and have served over 4 million patients. There are even more benefits to discover as only 1% of plants and trees in the Amazon have been tested. A cure for cancer may even be found there one day. The rainforest's resources are so necessary that they have a major impact on the economy. At least 1.6 million people, or 25% of the world, rely on it for their livelihoods. 1.2 billion use sustainable farms as a way to earn money and improve conservation. It needs phosphorus. The Amazon gives us what we need, but it can't do that without the right tools. And one is a heavy dose of phosphorus. Dust from the Sahara Desert blows over the Atlantic. It reaches the Amazon and helps fertilize it. Without the phosphorus, its many beautiful plants couldn't grow and feed the animals. This suggests a surprising relationship between the world's third largest desert and its largest rainforest. It has amazing biodiversity. The Amazon is one of the most biodiverse places in the world. It has more trees than there are in the Milky Way. At least 10% of all species known to science live in the Amazon, with a new one being discovered every three days. There are over 40,000 plants. 427 mammals, 430 amphibians, 380 reptiles, 3,000 fish, and 2.5 million insects, 
one-fifth of all known birds. The animal residents of the Amazon can be beautiful but dangerous. The poison dart frog has enough venom to kill 10 humans. Other potentially deadly animals you should always watch from a distance include green anacondas, Brazilian wandering spiders, jaguars, electric eels, South American rattlesnakes, bullet ants, red-bellied piranhas. And though new species of plants and animals are discovered every three days, they can be lost almost as quickly. And many of these unique creatures are already in danger. 137 plants, animals, and insects go extinct every day due to human activity such as deforestation. It has indigenous peoples. The Amazon is a dangerous and unforgiving place, but some have been able to live in it. Its indigenous tribes have never known any other life. It has approximately 21 million inhabitants. That's equal to the population of London, New York, and LA combined. There are hundreds of indigenous tribes. The largest are both in Brazil. There are 2 million Manaus and 1.4 million Belems. At least 50 of them have never made contact with anyone outside of the rainforest. Most of these tribes are nomadic hunters and gatherers. Long-term agriculture isn't possible in the rainforest because its thin soil doesn't have enough mineral content. They have to move around to find the best homes. The floor is dark and dry. The top of the rainforest is bright and sunny. The image changes if you go deeper. The broad leaves of the trees of the canopy block almost all light. Less than 1% makes it through to the floor. Those leaves also block rainwater. It takes 10 minutes for it to drop through to the floor, which means you might not think of it as a rainforest if you went down there. The river once ran the other way. Today, the Amazon River runs west to east. A geographical study in 2006 determined this wasn't always the case. It suggested that millions of years ago, the river flowed east to west. Continental drift created a raised highland on the east coast of South America. That made the Andes rise, and once water and sentiment came rushing in, the river turned around. Martin Strell swam the river. Large mountains and rivers always seem to beg adventurers to try to conquer them. Martin Strell managed to swim the Amazon River in 2007. He started in Peru and went to Belém. He kept going for 10 hours a day for 66 days in a row. The feat gave him a permanent spot in the Guinness Book of World Records. It's disappearing. The Trans-Amazonian Highway was one of the first major losses in the Amazon rainforest. It was meant to create space for logging, farming, and squatters. Many of the trees were lost, and so were important wildlife due to illegal hunting. 20% of the Amazon has been lost in recent years due to cutting down trees. 1.5 acres are removed every second. Deforestation rates in 2020 were the highest they'd been in a decade. 11,000 square kilometers were lost in one year in Brazil alone. That's seven times the size of London. Climate change also contributes to the rainforest decline. A rise of only 3 degrees could destroy 75% of the Amazon. General climate change could kill it all in the next 100 years. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever visited a rainforest? Let us know in the comments section below.